You'll see me shaking because I'm squeezing the crap out of these. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. Actually, I'm super excited to give you this video. This is gonna be a full body workout that you can do using my Tricon training. Full body Tricon workout with nothing but body weight, that's the key here. I've got a workout for you guys that you can do with nothing but body weight, you can do it at home. So that being said, let's get busy. All right guys, before I get into this actual workout, I'm gonna give you a couple things, but first, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to the channel. Also, after you watch this video, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. That way I know to film more videos like it. And also make sure you click on that bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. This is a full body workout that you're gonna be doing my Tricon sets with. What are my Tricon sets if you've never done them before? A set of nine reps. So each one is nine reps. The first one you're gonna do explosive. So basically you're gonna do control the weight down. Let's go with a squat for instance. Lower your body down, explode the weight up. Lower your body down, explode the weight up. Do that three times three explosive reps. Your next three reps are isometric holds in the peak contracted position or the mid range. I'll show you with each exercise since we're doing body weight. Here's the thing, 10 second hold, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. You're gonna do that three times, which is your six reps. Your last three reps are full range of motion reps that are done super slow. Four seconds down, four seconds up. All right, that's how you're gonna do all of these exercises. You're gonna see me do them, but that's the setup. Now the next thing I want you to do is, this is gonna be set up in a giant set fashion, going from one exercise to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, with no rest in between. You're not gonna rest in between exercises, but you are gonna take a two minute rest at the end of your last exercise, and you're gonna go back to the top and do them all again. So three sets, so you're running through this for three rounds. Three sets, nine reps, two minutes rest at the end of your last exercise. Very first exercise is gonna be a squat variation, body weight squat. So let me give you a little side view here. When you're working body weight squats, when you're working any type of squats, you first initiate the movement by hinging at the hips. Meaning you don't just start bending at the knees and dropping. That will hurt your knees, damage your knees, create a lot of issues and knee irritation for you down the road. So basically, get your glutes back. That's what hip hinging men means. Get your glutes back there, then you go into your descent. All right, from here, let's take it as deep as you can. If you can go all the way down here, then take each rep as deep as you can go. This may be uncomfortable for some of you. You may not have the proper ankle mobility, the, the hip mobility. If you lack mobility anywhere down here, then that's okay to not go this slow, all right? All right, the last thing I wanna point out before I actually start getting into these exercises is if you're at this bottom position and it's okay on your hips, but you, act, uh, you lack ankle mobility, your heels are off the ground. If you're down here and your heels are off the ground, then if you wanna go this low, keep a plate or something under your feet for that, under your heels for that support. Okay, if you can be flat footed, then this is the recommended. But again, we are all unique. We all have different mobilities and flexibility. So at the end of the day, just go with what is comfortable. All right, body weight, shoulders back, chest out. I keep my arms across here. You can keep them in front of you like this. And you wanna drive straight up if you can. One rep, hip hinge, two reps, Three reps and then mid range, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. This is a 10 second hold. For me, this is the perfect position. Come back up. If you're not that flexible, you don't have to go that low, but you don't want to go too low. You don't want to be down here because then you're just hanging out. You want to keep the tension on the quads while you're doing this. Six, 1007, 1008, 1009, 10, back to the top. You'll do your third set, your third hold rep, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
Back to the top. Now full range of motion for a second. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more. Three, four. Three, four. Okay, you're gonna go from this exercise into a chest exercise. Again, all of these are tricon, so the same setup. So what, a, what you're doing here is a tricon push-up. Tricon push-up, basically, you're gonna do your same setup, three explosive. One, two, three. Now you're going into your hold, which is mid-range. Then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the top, another hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Top, third. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Now, four seconds down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. All right, one other thing I want to point out. If you haven't done tricon sets before, they're a lot more intense than a standard push up. So, if you can do a few of these, do them. If you can't do them all, finish with these sets or these reps on your knees. That's okay. So, if you need to do your holds here to finish or to do your super slow, it's okay to get on your knees. The goal should be focused on making progress though. So constantly push yourself to do better. That's how you start seeing really good results. Challenge yourself, push yourself, do better next week than you did this week. Do better the following week as well. So just constantly try to challenge yourself. So if you have to do all of these on your knees, that's okay. The next week you do these, try to do half on your knees, half standard. So it's just completely up to you go at your own pace but at the same time really push and challenge yourself all right now we're going to get into a posterior exercise so for this one this is going to be a glute bridge glute bridge can help work your glutes hams okay a little core work same thing here you want to get your heels as close to your butt as you can again it depends on the size of your hamstrings, your flexibility, all of that. So get as close as you can. Keep your hands out to your side if you need to. Cross your chest, whatever's more comfortable for you. Push from your heels all the way up. Control it all the way up. Two, control it, three. I'll show you an advanced version in a minute from here. You want the peak contracted position. Go as high as you can, even Get those shoulders under you. Other one, other two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Focus on clenching those glutes down, back up. Don't just hang out here. Make sure you're really tightening your legs. You're tightening your your glutes, your hams. One more there, all the way up. Couple different things you can do to advance this exercise. 10, I'll show you that here in just a minute. All right, so the three super slow. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, full range. Four. Four. Okay, some posterior work. Here's the thing. From here, you can elevate your feet if you have a bench. If you have a one of those little benches, aerobic benches that are here, you can do that. You can do a taller bench. If you have a lower flat bench, you can use that as well. Or you can do unilateral. You can do these one side at a time. So you would just do one. Your holds are still gonna be here, but one side at a time. You will do all your tricon with one side, then you'll switch the other and do all your tricon with the other side. So those are advanced techniques, things you can do to continue to progress 
get good results with your glutes and your hams, okay? So here's the other thing we're gonna do now. This is more of a shoulder, tricep, and upper chest. This is a pike push-up. We did a standard push-up. Now the pike, your feet are here and you're as close as you can get. Again, we're, I'm always bringing up flexibility. Not everybody has flexible hamstrings. So if you need to get further out, that's fine as well. The goal here, wider than shoulder width, width is gonna create more tension on your shoulders. Inside is gonna create more on your triceps. So look at your body. Do you need to grow more triceps, bigger arms? Do you want bigger shoulders? Whichever you wanna emphasize, that's how you determine your width, all right? Or we're doing three sets. You can do two sets one way out here, one set inside, completely up to you. Just, I'm giving you options so you're still gonna get great results. So the pike push up from here, I'm gonna go a little bit wider. It's gonna be the same concept. Down, up, up, up. And then right here, that was one, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, push. We got one more hold and I'm not resting my head. Don't think I'm resting my head. You want to get right above. Hold and then super slow. One, two, three, four, four. Two more. One more. All right, so again, you're going to feel those in your shoulders. You're going to feel them in your triceps. So you're going to get great work there. The last one I'm going to show you, you do need a towel. I said body weight. If you have a towel, let's use a towel. There's a couple ways to do tricon sets with your back. You can do isometrics, meaning if there's a wall behind me, I can lean up against the wall, get your elbows into the wall and push as hard as you can. That's an isometric contraction. Okay. You're still gonna do isometric work that way. However, I wanted to give you a little bit more of a range of motion. So we're gonna do a towel and let's start with one foot. So you can kind of gauge how much resistance you need. It's gonna be the same thing. This is gonna be a seated back row, seated back row with a towel. So you're still gonna get great resistance from here. Go ahead and bend your knee slightly. If you need more of a stretch, you're just gonna grab further down on the towel. Right now I've got a big stretch in my lats. So it depends on how long your leg is and all that stuff, all right? Legs and arms. Also, now you can gauge the resistance. You wanna push yourself here, same thing. Cause this is kind of like the honesty system. You're pushing yourself. The more you push yourself, the more you challenge yourself, the more results you're gonna get. So from this position, now you're pulling back. Elbow, one. Drive it forward, two. Three, all right, for the hold, peak contraction. Take it back as far as you can with those elbows and then kick that towel forward. You're pushing it forward while you're holding these back to the elbows. That was a two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten. All right, second hold. Again, back there, peak contraction. Get as far back as you can, really squeeze the crap out of those lats. Eight, nine, ten. Do one more here. You'll see me shaking because I'm squeezing the crap out of these. All right, now full one, two, three, four, two, four. Four, four. All right. I definitely felt those. You will feel those in your lats. So really focus when you're back here, you're pulling as hard as you can, all right? And if you need more resistance, once you're pulling as hard as you can, you get into that back position, then you push as hard as you need to with your foot, with your leg. You don't have to push all the way, but 
Push as hard as you can to create tension, create resistance in your back. But, all right, like I said, you're gonna do this one, nine reps, three explosive, three holds, three super slow, then you would rest your two minutes. Get it, get your breath back, get recovered. Do it all over again. Once you get to this one again, rest another two minutes and you do it a third time, all right? So if you do this Tricon body weight workout, you can do it anywhere, man. You've got access to a towel, I'm pretty sure. If you don't have access to a towel, you still need to work your back. You want everything to be balanced. We're working the front, we're working the anterior stuff, working some posterior with the glute bridges and with the back rows. So if you don't have a towel, then do the isometrics I told you about. Sit up against a wall and that's all you have to do. Get those elbows pinned against the wall, push as hard as you can, release. Push as hard as you can, release. Push as hard as you can for the third rep, release. And then you push into that wall for 10 seconds, release. Push into that wall as hard as you can for 10 seconds. So it's the same concept, all right? It's just strictly an isometric contraction, but you're still controlling the length of the isometric contraction and the release. So that is gonna be key, man, to getting great results. But if you do all of these, you got your legs, you got your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, your chest, your shoulders, triceps, biceps with the rows. So you're working all of these, you're gonna get a great workout. You can do this too, even three times a week. If you wanna do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, just make sure you're taking a rest day. The other cool thing before I get off this video is this isn't very taxing on your central nervous system. So you can do this actually more often, more frequently. So you can do it without burning out, without overtraining. So that's gonna help you get even better results because you can add frequency and intensity. So you're gonna get tremendous results, man. But if you got any questions about any of these exercises at all, or if you like the video, man, just give me a thumbs up, let me know you like it. Other than that, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.